Hello friends, welcome to the video series on interview question for SQLPL SQL developer. Here is a question that I have received in the comment and in fact this question is being asked for beginners or freshers. Let us first understand what is the question and what should be the answer from interview point of view. So the question is, we are creating a view by specifying all the columns of a table, something like select star from a table name. After creating a view by specifying select star from a table name, if I go and add a new column to the base table, what would be the behavior? Will it throw an error or will that column will get automatically added to the view? So this is the first question. Second question is, if I go and alter the base table to remove an existing column, what is the behavior? Will it throw an error or what is the behavior? That is the second question. The third question is, how can I find the list of objects or tables or any other objects that is being used in a particular view? So that is the third question. Let us start with the first question. Let us first create a view by specifying select star from a table name and then let us go and alter the table to add a new column. Then we'll see what is the behavior. So here is a table like employee table. So let me create a view. So let's say create our replace view employee underscore view as select star from emp so the view is created fine so now what i'm going to do i'm just going to add a new column to the employee table alter table emp add let us add a new column called address of where care to of 100 so i'm just adding one more new column called address so now let us select from the table. Now you can see there is a new column address added to this table. So now let us select from the view. Now if you see the new column would not have got added automatically. The view will have only the previous existing column. So basically what will happen is when we go and create a view, Oracle will replace the star with the column whatever was present at the time of view creation that we can get to know by using the user underscore views data dictionary. If you go and check here for the view what we are creating, for example, the view what we created just now is EMP underscore view. So you say the view name equal to EMP underscore view. If you check the text of this particular view, instead of star, even though we have created the view by specifying select star from EMP, the star will be replaced with all the columns present at the time of creation. So the key learning is whenever we are creating a view by specifying a star, the star will be replaced with the list of columns available at the time of creation. So the answer from the interview point of view is, Whenever we create a view by specifying the star, the star will be replaced with the columns at the time of creation. So any new columns that is getting added after the view creation will not get automatically added to the view. Fine. Now let us see the second question. So when we go and drop an existing column of a table, what would be the behavior? So let us try to uh, drop an existing column. Right now this particular view has like eight or nine columns. Let us try to drop one particular column. I'm saying alter table EMP drop column. Let me remove the commission column. So now the commission column is removed. Now let us try to query from the EMP underscore view. Now whenever when you're trying to query from that view and when the particular table or a column is not present, then Oracle will throw an error. So this is the behavior. So from interview point of view, once uh, underlying object is removed it can be any object if oracle is not able to find a particular object then it will throw the error so from interview point of view we just need to say whenever an underlying object is removed then oracle will throw an error fine now let us see the third question how can we check the list of objects being used in a particular view so we have a data dictionary called user underscore dependencies basically this uh, user underscore dependencies will give all the dependencies for the all the objects so here we can just go and check name equal to emp underscore view 
So whatever the uh, tables that is being referred tables or any other objects that is being referred will get listed here. So from interview point of view, the answer should be user underscore dependencies data dictionary will help us to identify the list of dependent objects for the view. If you want any questions to be answered, you can post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail ID. But before that, you can check whether a similar question has already been posted as part of subscriber question series or as part of the interview question series. If you are not able to find your question here, please write back to me. I'll be happy to record and post as a new video. If you have learned something new, please like this video, subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video, interview question, SQL practical question and concept videos. And thanks a lot for watching this video. Please click the bell icon if you want to receive instant notification whenever new videos are uploaded into this channel. Thank you.